Hello and welcome back to the good old digital classes. So, again, we're going to be working clicky this week. First things first, we're going to make our file size. We're going to click here File. We're going to make a nice gorgeous square with 1,500 pixels by 1,500 pixels. Click OK. And lovely, we have our perfect file size to work on. Now I want to discuss two main things and the key point that we're going to be using of Clicky for the next couple of weeks. So first, I'm going to show you how to import. If you have done a drawing and you want to draw on top of it, you sketched it, you're fantastic at this ability, now you want to go and push and put it on top. So you'll take a photograph of your drawing. Here's my photograph, and I'm going to put this down as a layer. Over here, I'm going to put it on the piece of paper. I'm going to fill it out as I wish. This is my composition. That's the size of the paper and we click OK. So here we have it as a layer. That's our regular layer on the bottom and there. So we just have to add on and we get a paintbrush. We can start with a subtle one and we can just start working on top and you know, copying on exactly. We can even bring down this and you can start seeing it. You can work like this. You can see actually a clear where you're working and you go working on etc. Okay, then when you're done with it, take it away and you'll have your drawing. So this is option number one. Take this away. Option number two, which we're going to be using a bit more, you are going to photograph certain things which I'm going to be asking for. So you take your picture, you pass it onto your computer, okay, we're going to pass our photographs, this is a photograph of a flower I took, we put as layer. Now this recomposition, this cropping is very important. Cropping is basically you recomposing your image for exactly what you want to do with it. So this one I'm kind of recropping it here because that's my key interest. So this is important. This step, please take your time and really think about your composition. When you're happy with it, click OK. Again, so as you can see, here's a, that's a layer. And that's our empty layer. We can bring down the opacity, make a new layer. And then again, with our brush, we can just start working on top of this. Okay, so these are the kind of benefits that we have with this digital imaging. Now, one of the key points I want you to be looking at, I'm just gonna bring this one down, this one up, is the eyedropper, this beautiful tool that we have over here. Okay, our eyedropper, as here on help, if you wanna know the shortcut, here we go, eyedropper, right mouse button, or alt plus the mouse. Okay, so I'm pressing Alt right now. As you can see, it changes and I can start finding very specific colors that I would like from this photograph. Now, this is the beautiful aspect of an eyedropper. Okay, so this, we have to learn how to use it correctly. And as you can see, it changes right over here. If I say monochromatic, this means you're gonna choose a color and monochromatic is you don't move this anymore. It stays exactly where it is. But over here, all of these are monochromatic. Without moving this, that's monochromatic, okay? Don't forget this, because you're gonna need this. And then, this is the cool thing. Another big thing we're gonna be using is our beautiful blend brush over here. So I'm gonna push up this layer again. You know what, I don't like that. It's drawing on top there, make a new one. And with the blend brush, I'm gonna recommend you kind of, uh, with the size of images we're working, around about 60, 60, and here we can go between 80 and 90. Um, it's quite interesting. So I've chosen this one, and I'm gonna be blending on. Okay, we're gonna be using this blend brush very heavily, okay? You've learned how to use layers. I just wanna be a bit darker, I want a smaller brush. We, you've learned how to use layers. You've learned, which that's a key aspect, we're gonna be using a lot of layers soon, and the idea is that you know this blending brush is really fantastic okay so monochromatic I don't move this but I move everything inside here that's monochromatic okay and then when I really want to blend I bring down the opacity remember that bring the blend right to 100 and um, depending on my size brush and as you can see I can really blend all of these together you know this you've done this okay and this will be the main idea that we're gonna be working on in the next couple of classes. All right, so as you can see, 
to get this done. And I'm using a layer, okay, and then I can add on more layers uh, to work on the bottom, to do shadings and different aspects. You know how to use these, okay? Remember, Clecky right now will only support a maximum of eight layers. So you see, that's my maximum. It's turned off. There's no more layers. If I need a new layer and I need to really make it, I'm going to have to just merge them down, clicking over here, merge, and I merge it down again. I want to, if I can, can do another one, merge it down, and it shows you over here an example of what you're doing. So that's pretty straightforward, okay? And another key tool I'm going to recommend that you guys are using, go to File over here at the tab and use Storage, okay? So as you can see, it says here that's going to be stored on the browser, okay? So it's just in case if, if you know, suddenly it crashes or something, something happens to your computer, you can reopen it and it's there. It's not a permanent thing, but it's, it really saves you if, you, you know, you're working quite a bit and suddenly it crashes, something like this, your computer, it happens. This will save you a lot of time. It's not permanent. Keep that in mind. If you want to delete it from your, your cache, from your browser cache, press clear, and now it's gone. Okay, I'll show you. I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to open up another clicky. And you see, it's right there straight away. It has the layers already made because I have this turned on. Well, this is it for today. Thank you very much, and I hope you guys have a great time. Goodbye.